All right, so let's get into our smoke and mirrors. Okay, okay. It's not bad, actually. Some, some, right? some good foamy. Yeah. Bring your mic a little bit closer, King. Um, and we have Billy Burns in the middle of the fucking yes, building. Yes, yes, done all respect. Balls. This ain't right. Heard my little homie got light. My next nigga learned when he got shot twice. Respect, respect. So I'm going to show you all something here that um, I found here on uh, on YouTube, actually. On uh, C C City TV News. Let me see if I can get the speaker. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold this for a second. Too many speakers. Yeah, like. Too close. Too close. So yes. This madness so, here. Have a lot of feelings about the upcoming change. License plates. What should, what should Ontario license plates say? No, Doug Ford wants to change it from your Ontario uh, from reactions. yours to like discover. No thanks. To open there is nothing to, wrong business. with yours to discover if it ain't broke. Another so you know respondent expressed herself a little more forceful. to discover Toronto to change that. Open for business to be put to on Ontario license plates. Sounds like we are a store selling donuts. <laughs> the man's on some Trump thing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the man, the man, no, no, but wait, the man's on some Trump shit. What the fuck? Why does he want to do yeah. that? Got, man got bare backlash. Like, yo, yeah, why don't you open for open business? Open for recovery. And then right on, said. but that and that's on the license plates more times. Yeah, but that's he, what they, but instead of yours to discover. Open for business. That's what the man wants. But you don't want to change it from yours to discover. I get that, but what is the open for business? Like he's trying to attract. <laughs> he's mad that he's still he's mad trying at, to like, attract like corporate business or whatever. I don't know what. He, but at the end of the day, it doesn't make no damn sense why he would even change that. And plus, like that the was. 7-11. I think he's mad at Toronto. He thinks Toronto <laughs> killed Doug for it. I mean, that, he killed his brother. That for was okay. Well, I have my own theory on his brother. Mm, I, have my own I, I don't know. I, like I don't know. I, I don't think music. he has, has fully. <laughs> He has fully like you know grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. Revenge. He hasn't fully, yeah. He hasn't fully processed. Yeah. Yeah. Revenge. Yeah, it could be a lot of things. Because why would you open for business? I'm still. What is that? It doesn't. It's 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 it's, 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 well. It's not even that. It was. Didn't he say he's gonna do some shit that he didn't do? That was part of his slogan, though, for when <laughs> no, he was but campaigning. Say, but then when he was campaigning before, and then yeah, people are gonna lose their jobs, and people are losing jobs. Exactly. Didn't mm. uh, like he didn't really follow I seen through, a, I right? Seen, um, a cover of a newspaper the other day I think it was the, the star where I was looking I was driving by somewhere, you know you stop and you look over and you see the box or whatever this guy said you open see, for business you see Doug Ford's face <laughs> and it says oh give with one hand and take with the other <laughs> you understand what I'm saying that's what they're saying he's on yeah, he's he giving some, with yeah, one ma- hand that's some and mafia he's taking yeah, no it's mafia that's the ma- that's the ma- I've been yeah. yo bro what did I say did I say <laughs> I've been said. saying he's generational. generational that's your mom's in there bro. generational <laughs> one's the fish one's the the, the, his the dad dealer. his brother they're all generational yeah. when it comes to politics oh, Rob Ford's the only one that went the other way so he's getting high off his own supply. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, we see that. The, you Fuck know why it. he died? Because the man stopped smoking the dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it started messing the with him. Man yeah. smoking the man stopped smoking the dope. I don't care what anybody <laughs> said. Yeah, you see, that was keeping him alive. That was <laughs> keeping him functioning. Honest, okay. I'm not trying to. He had a way about him that he moved when he was on. I'm not trying to incriminate nobody in this room. Hold on. No, no, no. Before you start, because you, I want you to go. Yo, bro. Okay? I'm dead serious. You're telling me that the man said. You're telling me that the man was good, but he stopped smoking food, and then <laughs> his health just started deteriorating. Right, listen to me. I'm okay. What I'm gonna say? Body, to, what I'm gonna say? He's trying to say his body was dependent on it. Exactly. His body was dependent on it now. I'm not gonna lie. Back in the day, I used to hustle. You know. Yeah, no, but no, but, but it's yo, true. I've done, it's I true. I know buckets. I know buckets. There was one in particular. Yeah. Man's name was Daryl. Daryl. Oh, Daryl from um the old folks home. I don't know, but I just yeah, know. Yeah, man, I know, I know Daryl from the, the old folks home. Had, had AIDS. Oh man, yeah, bro, I know exactly what you're talking Full about, blown bro. AIDS. The mm-hmm. man, the Jane to, Street I, bucket. I used man. to link the man, whatever, do my thing, you know. Go, the man looked at me one day and said, "Yo, the doctor told me to keep smoking crack. It's keeping me alive. <laughs> he told me to do what I'm doing. He said, I don't know what the fuck you're doing." Whatever the yeah. fuck you're doing, keep doing yeah, it because it's keeping shit. you alive. The crack the preserves. Still, the man looked at the dude and said, yo, I told the doctor all I'm doing is smoking crack. Uh, like, basically, yeah. Is he still alive? No, well, now nah, that was like fucking how many years ago? <laughs> yeah, <it's> what? <laughs> I wonder if he's still alive, though. Who knows? But yeah, long story short, I'm saying right now, you know? Doug Ford, if he would have kept 
smoking crack. You talking about Rob? 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 Sorry, not Doug. Well, his brother I actually smoking crack. Yeah, but, brother moving like he took <laughs> over. Yeah. But if Rob, R.I.P. No disrespect, but I'm saying like yo, honestly, his body was dependent on it. Like yeah. yo, if I'm not saying yo, you need to thump down the pipe like how he was thumping down the pipe to break <laughs> gradually. He yeah, has yeah, to he gradually. Cold turkey. Oh. You can't go. Oh. Yo, bro, his body went to shock. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, how no even mm. when cold turkey? Maybe that was even a lie, and he overdosed, and nah, we get man, a different the story. Was how we know. Yo, listen to me. His body was breaking. Like yo, the, the crack was managing with every. Like he was probably. So dying. what did he actually die from though? What did he cancer? cancer right? Yeah. But so his body was already. The funny thing is. That could have been his chemo. That no, that, that could have been his the chemo. The minute he found out he had cancer, chemo crack. he started doing crack. That's the title. You ever think about that? The minute he found out he well, had like cancer, that's like, he started doing crack. That's like, he's like yo, fuck this, you know? That's like Charlie Sheen. Yeah. yeah. That's like Charlie Sheen. Because they came close Tiger to making Bug. a movie about exactly. Rob Ford, too. They made a little <laughs> Toronto movie about it. Oh, they did? They actually yeah. made it? The they filthy, made it? The filthy, yeah. yeah. Shit, I need to go Google go that later, oh, man. <laughs> but, like, that's what happened with, with um, Charlie Sheen. Oh, shit. Charlie Sheen found out he had HIV, and the man started, started going crazy. Yeah. And now, if okay, you see, speaking of Charlie Sheen, I know that you, I don't even, like, whatever, but <laughs> if <laughs> you listen to that interview of him before you that. know he has AIDS. You kind of know something's wrong with him. Yes, you know something's wrong with him. Yeah, you know something's wrong with him. I was trying to kill yeah. myself. I couldn't kill myself. Yeah, I was smoking I, I was, seven no, gram no, rocks. I was I'm wondering. Sorry. I was wondering what was wrong with him. I swear, same thing. Are you saying? I was mm. wondering. I'm like, yo, why is he talking like this? Like, like someone's gone and yeah. not a party. So when the whole you thing with that, that thing, that's like, not a party. Oh, that's not a party that's type mentality. I, exactly. He's, he might have been out there partying, but then he must have gotten the news like, yo, you know what? Now, fuck this. I'm really, I'm trying to kill myself. Exactly. Party. When you go to certain like, levels, that's trust like, me, I couldn't certain kill stress myself. they can't. I tried to not kill everybody myself. can handle I it. I couldn't kill myself. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, he was, yeah, yeah, Charlie, she was <laughs> really on it. Right? You knew before you knew still. No, you knew no, something was wrong with him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, yo, something was wrong with this guy. I'm like, yo, what is, is he going to like come out and say something new? And then it like, came out yeah. eventually, how many years later, mm-hmm. that he's been hiding. He's had HIV. And people have been suing him and his yeah, wife and been and suing him. And down mad yeah. chicks. Charlie Sheen tore down the place. Mad porn stars. What? A man's killing himself to get in the game. And hella life. people on the way. <laughs> what? You understand what I'm saying? So crazy. Okay, let's let's get back to something new. 